Good boy. Hi, we're going to talk about Otis's obedience commands and how to use them. So the first thing we're going to demonstrate is the place command, which is very useful because it can be generalized to just about any object that has distinct boundaries like a chair or a picnic table. We taught it on a dog bed. Um, so this is how you do it. Otis, place. Good boy. Now, I taught him that he gets rewards if he relaxes on the place bed, so he instantly went into a down, which is great. Um, before you walk away, remind them what they're doing. Place. And he should stay with any kind of distraction. If He doesn't have an excuse. If there's kids running around, that's not an excuse. If he pops off, what I want you to do is say no and give him a collar correction which is just a quick pop on the leash, which is just no, and give him a pop. Um, only you, <laughs> you give him a pop so that he can feel it on his collar. Um, and then in order to get him off of the place, you just say, Otis, free. Good boy. Good job, buddy. All right. So the next thing we're going to show you is Otis, heel is the healing. So the healing is where his front hip is in line, or sorry, front shoulder is in line with my hip. Otis, heel. Now if he doesn't follow, you need to give him a little tug and just get him to get going because he's kind of slow. <laughs> Good boy. And he should follow you no matter where you turn. Sit. Good boy. And every time you stop, he needs to sit. Heel. And if you start again, say heel, sit, good boy, free. And heel is just like any other command, you need to free them out of it. Good boy, Otis. Now if he gets too far ahead of you, you can give him a little pop on the collar. If he gets too far behind you, you can give him a little um, tap on your leg or a little pop on the collar. If he gets too distracted by kids or, or another dog, you can just try to make him sit if he's kind of freaking out um, and just stop altogether. Um, okay, the next thing I want to show you is the down command, which he's already doing. Oh, it's come here, come here. the finger point because um, Otis doesn't like going into a down and it just helps him a little bit. Um, if he chose not to go down, again, say no, down, give him a collar correction and make him go into a down. And then before you walk away, say down and he should stay there. And again, if he were to pop out of it, just say no, give him a pop on the leash and then repeat your command, down. And then to get him out of it, free, free, you're free, Elias. There's so much effort. <laughs> so we've got sit down, place, healing. We also worked on recall, which um, he is not stellar at. So in order to do recall, it's the exact same theory. You just say the command once and only once. You say come. If they choose not to come, say no. Give them a collar pop. And then repeat the command, come. Okay, sit. Good boy. Otis, come! Good boy! <laughs> so Otis does come, he just comes like molasses. Okay, sit. So that's all there is to it. Just say the commands once and follow through if he decides not to do it. <laughs>